Each morning, 97-year-old Doris Carnavali pulls a seat up to her desk in her West Seattle home and starts writing. Fact is, the ideas are bubbling in my head between the time I'm asleep and awake. She has so much to say about what it's like to grow old, and she's sharing it all on her blog, Engaging with Aging. Sure, there are times when, when I'm down, and the 14th thing I drop in a day makes me frustrated as I'll get out. But uh, on the whole, it is so much more exciting than I ever thought it was going to be, and boring, no. Carnivali, who's retired from the UW Nursing School, started blogging when she was much younger, 95. I had been ranting about the fact that I thought aging had gotten a rotten deal, that it was much more pleasant, more exciting, and more challenging than I had been led to believe in books and, and experience, too. A UW dean urged her to write after hearing that rant. So Carnivali's granddaughter created a blog account, and the words flowed. Today, she's written dozens of passages on what she calls age-related changes. My hands don't pick up things the way I used to. Uh, do I say I'm losing my hands? No, I'm changing how I use them. And that way I don't get down in the dumps. This isn't a how-to blog. It's more of a diary about what she's going through. If her readers extract lessons, great. If not, this exercise keeps Carnivali sharp. I'm still growing. I'm green. She knows there will come a day when this hobby's no longer possible. When it happens, it happens. And it would be nice if it didn't, but I, I'm too busy doing other things to worry about it right now. Ted Land, King 5 News.